Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. If you watched my last video, you will know how to create your home lab infrastructure environment. You will know how to install domain controller, how to install other related services you will need for this CyberArk lab. I'm gonna use the same topology as I used in last video, so we are gonna starting to create vault in this video. The IP address will be 192.168.111.21 and I do have all related steps recorded in this blog post. You will find out the diagram, you will find out the system requirement. Strongly suggest you all of you to take a look this install pen documentation from CyberArk. For the architecture diagram, you will have primary DR environment or distributed vault implementation. You also can install the vault on a cluster. We will go through installation prerequisite and also then install Vault server and the client using the installation file. I will also show you how to download those files after installation, just the verification. So all those steps have been recorded in this blog post. Take a look. Hopefully that will be useful for you as well. Now let's start it. For your home lab, of course, you need to have the installation files. You should be able to log in to your CyberArk community using your customer account or your partner account. Go to the marketplace, then CyberArk software. From there, you will see the product, and also you will see downloading the latest downloading version. So there's 25 gigabytes. You can click in, see the all components and then download them one by one. So latest one is 12.2.4 for the vault. Uh, for other components, mostly will be 12.2.4 as well. So that probably will be latest one for you to download it. Some of them is already 12.2.5, OPM is still .2. You also can download PDA. You can click this link after you selected the component you want to download it. It will take some time to download it. Uh, for this lab, I already downloaded it and put it into my cyborg installation folder under the C drive. Of course, you also need a license and operator keys, which you can get from your partner or from your customer account for your lab. So those will be needed. As I mentioned before, if you look at the CyberArk digital world installation documents, you will find out there are three different types of installation architecture, primary DR, distributed world, digital world, cluster environment. In this lab, um, I will use primary DR environment, which is most common use cases. So strongly suggest to take a look those documentation. If you already read them now, you can just go to install a primary DI environment. Here is a high level steps to install a PAM solution, primary DI installation. My environment, I already finished the most of steps, which is updating the system and also copy the files, installation files. And if you look at the update, 
So all system patches has been installed. Uh, this is uh, just for the uh, Microsoft Defender antivirus. You can install it right away. There are some important prerequisites we need to do, which is going to remove all unnecessary network components. So we only need to keep TCP IP v6 and TCP IP v4 and only enable TCP IP v4. Other network components is not related. And we also, we don't need DNS and LM host and disable NetBIOS load settings. So now, let's get the list step down. We're gonna change the depth settings, properties, just uninstall all those unnecessary components. We need TCP IPv4, And for TCP IPv6, you won't be able to uninstall it. So just uncheck it, since we don't need it as well. We're going to use in TCP IPv4. For TCP IPv4, you don't need gateway, since all components, they are in the same flat network. And also, you don't need a DNS server. Don't need to register the connection address in DNS. So let and also let's part of your hardening process to harden your vault server. So now we finished prerequisite. We are going to next step installation. Installation actually is very straightforward and very simple. Um, so let's go to our installation folder. Make sure you logged in using that account, which has local admin privilege. Um, if you haven't, unzip or extract your files. You can do it right now. So we're going to install a server and also client. Let's start with server. Right click setup.exe file and run as administrator. That will automatically install in Microsoft Virtual C++ 2019. That has been installed, now we go to next, next. So we are doing a standard ROM vault installation. The destination folder strongly suggests to keep the same folder structure. If you really want to change the destination folder to another drive, but uh, was suggested to keep the same, no touch this, and keep those as well. Here is the tricky part for your license. Um, they were just looking for a CD, operator CD. If you already copied it over, just like um, I did, copy it to the local, then you can choose that folder. 
to continue. Operator CD. So we need a license file. And operate the CD. So here is configure remote control agent. Strongly suggest configure it now, which is gonna save you lots of time in the future if you skip it. So based on our topology, you may wanna to enter the IP address of your our PVWA. Twenty three and 24. Let's do 23 for now. So we are not doing a distributed world implementation, so we can continue as next step. Here is uh, asking, do you want to harden the machine or you don't want to harden? We can give it a retry. Um, this probably relating to the folder permission. What you can do is uh, on checklist read only and apply to folder subfolders and the files. After that, you should be able to write the say self signed C certificate into that files. After this step, you need to enter the master password and also administrate the password. So setup complete, it is asking you, do you want to reboot it? Now we, since we need to install a client. Let's get the client also installed and then we can verify those installation. It's pretty straightforward installation. It's asking do you want to define your first vault? Yes, we cannot do that. Administrator. Let's do OK. That's OK as well. So now they're asking to report the computer. So now let's get it reported. After that, we can verify the installation. So system has been reported and um, we can follow the blog post verification steps to verify those new services and verify world status. Let's 
go to services.msc and look at the sidebar logical container event notification engine and then private arc you should be able to find three of them here database server remote control agent so there are probably 31 services running after the hardening so most of our necessary services already been stopped to run here or disabled you also can try to launch the private arc server console to see the status which is running it's successful connected to the database database id 0 firewall container external rules is open for client connection so right now server version 12.1 is up and that next the last step for verification you should be able to log into the cyberarc server using the cyberarc client private arc you will see those vault saves those three saves you also can check the logs etc etc but the latter pretty much uh, all you need to do for installing a primary vault and if you continue watching my video channel in the advanced labs I'm gonna show you how to install a DR and how to do the failover the lab will be my advanced lab after I've completely installed all other components PSM, PVWA etc etc so that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found something useful to you. Please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. See you in my next episode.